A British journalist working for investigative news site The Grey Zone was recently detained after a question by British Counter Terror Police upon arrival back in the UK. Kit Clarenberg was stopped at Luton Airport on the 17th of May after arriving from the Serbian capital Belgrade, where he lives. Clarenberg was questioned for more than five hours about his political views, covering everything from the current British political leadership to the Ukraine conflict. His electronic devices and bank cards were seized. The officers specifically demanded to know whether the Grey Zone had ties with Russia's security services over their publishing of hacked material. Now, no reason was given for the detention. There are some examples here of his work, including reports of the British plans to bomb the Crimean Bridge and even a plot to dismantle the Grey Zone itself. The investigative group's editor-in-chief, Max Blumenthal, believes London is targeting journalists because they're exposing violations of international and domestic law. So this was, in my view, political repression by the British state, which has no free speech protections against a journalist who has been exposing in meticulous and completely factual fashion how British intelligence has been violating international and domestic law in order to carry out some very dark machinations. What Kit hasn't done is broken any laws or violated any journalistic eth ethics. What he's done is standard practice even at legacy Western newspapers like the Washington Post and the New York Times. This was a baseless interrogation. It was a fishing expedition by British intelligence. They're going after journalists who are dissenters, dissidents, and who are exposing their own violations of international and domestic law. We've received an outpouring of solidarity and support, and we're hoping that groups like um, Reporters Without Borders will weigh in here. I know Kit's been in contact with them that other press freedom NGOs will actually speak up. This really isn't a question of whether you agree with me or Kit Clarenberg. It's about whether journalists can continue to follow standard journalistic practice in using leaked material to provide news that's in the public interest.